The vivacious, dynamic decoration of this beam, which almost resembles an image from a modern comic, is another example of how the style known as Art 1200 was interpreted in Catalonia. The narrative style of the scenes, and the predominance of red, yellow, and orange, reveal the influence of the English miniatures which so often acted as a catalyst for the incorporation of the typically Byzantine 1200 style into Western art. The beam shows seven scenes from the Passion of Christ, each framed in a red rectangle. The narrative sequence begins with Christ's betrayal by Judas, to the left. It then continues with the flagellation and Christ's journey to Calvary. In the central frame, we see the crucifixion, together with the scene of Judas's repentance, and after this come the descent from the cross and the deposition of Christ's dead body in the tomb. The narrative concludes at the far right with the visit of the three Marys to the empty tomb, where they are received by an angel. This scene is very common in Romanesque art. It served as a metaphor for Christ's resurrection, which was considered too transcendental to be illustrated directly. In the Gothic period, however, artists did begin to depict the resurrection less metaphorically. You will find numerous examples in the museum's rooms dedicated to Gothic art. The original purpose of this beam is not known for sure. Neither do we know exactly which church it came from. What we do know is it was later used to form part of a coffered ceiling. The clue lies in the three large holes at the top, and also perhaps the fact that both of its ends have been removed. <laughs>